I made a video before about using the Garangom light bow gun as a normal 3 light bow gun with blood right. In this video will be an updated version of that set. Due to the new equipment and new decos we have, the set got a lot better and a lot cheaper to do. Before we start, please, 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 subscribe. It's a very fast way and simple way to support the channel's growth. In this video, I'll be sharing a generic 3 2 1 talisman set for normal 3 blood right LBG, and I will be showing you my current setup with my legit equipment at the end of the video. This set is not meant to have crazy damage. I made this set purely because I love the Garangom light bow gun. It really looks nice, and I love how normal 3 fits well with blood right sets. It heals a lot as compared to other ammo types. The augments for the Grand Cross will be level 1 attack boost and level 1 affinity boost. Then the rampage decoration that we will use will be Kushala Deora. For this gun, we will be running no gun mods, no silencer, no long barrel. The primary reason for this is we need the reload speed bonus from level 1 tune-up to get normal 3 on the Garangom LBG to be at fastest reload. Fastest reload doesn't just mean more DPS. It technically makes you safer as well. Here are the core skills. You need Steadiness 3 for this. Without Steadiness 3, you won't be able to eat for Temper level 4 or Temper level 2. I mean, you can still eat for it, but you'll have Deviation. I labeled Ballistics Max at level 2 here because since you'll be having Steadiness 3 in the set, it means you have Ballistics 3 in total, since Steadiness 3 also gives you Ballistics level 1. If you don't want Blood Right in the set, just remove it as a core skill. This would free up a lot of space in the set if you use the Builder. Defiance and Spirit Bird's Calling are good if you have spare level 1 slots in the set. Yes, I am promoting Max Might to be used in this set, mainly because you can shoot while walking and reload while walking. Normal 3 has great range, so I guess it's workable and you will have less of those panic dodge moments. Don't ever forget to use critical firepower with this set. If you don't use critical firepower, you are losing 30% damage on your normal ammo. Always be mindful if you have Mail of Hellfire, stay on the red scroll. The generic 3 to 1 charm build can now have Blood Right 2. Before, when I made this budget build, it can't. This is already a safe set, has Evade Extender 2, 100% affinity, and all the core skills. As long as you have a 3 to one talisman, you will be able to copy this. If I were to roll skills in these armor pieces, I'd go for more attack or peak performance. Don't forget, the gun should not be using a silencer or a long barrel. And like I said earlier, the damage is pretty okay. But what I love most about this is the consistency. If you are true with your aim, I recommend you guys to try it. The current set I'm using is with my attack 3 talisman with the level 4 slot. I was able to get attack boost 7 and also get part breaker 3 in this set. Since blood right needs parts broken before it actually heals me, I'd say that's a handy skill. The skills all in the set are all possible because with my shell studded hat, I was able to roll attack boost 1 with the level 1 slot. With the sinister magnum Allo piece, I got crit boost level 1. I rolled one max might on the gold Raytheon gloves, evade extender on Malzeno coil, and also the silver Rattalos greaves. I'm well aware spread does a better job than normal ammo. Same goes to matchups that we do pierce ammo on. Normal ammo is somewhat in the middle ground. Not the strongest, but it is decent and delivers a certain satisfaction. I'd say the god charm that would fit perfectly here is an attack 3, peak performance 2, 311 charm. That's it for this video. Thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.